This is for just a way to visualise Pythagoras, essentially, to find the distance between two points. So let's say I've drawn a line on a coordinate grid. Let's call that coordinate grid y and x, just to be clear. And we've plotted two points. We've plotted point 1, which is x1, y1, and point 2, which is x2, y2. And it's a diagonal line. Well, I could join, make a, a right angle triangle by doing this. And the distance along the x would simply be the difference between x2 and x1. So that would be x2 minus x1. And similarly, going up the y-axis, the distance up the y-axis would be y2 minus y1. So by Pythagoras, we should already know from National 5 that we can do this side squared plus this side squared equals this side squared. So let's call this side d the distance. Then the distance squared would be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Or in other words, distance itself would be the square root of all that, which is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And you can extend that to 3D by adding a z-axis as well, but this is your distance formula. So whenever you've got to find the distance between two points, you can either you can remember this formula and use it, or you can construct a right angle triangle and just work out your distances and use Pythagoras, your choice. Okay, example one, A is the point minus two, four, B is three minus one, calculate the length of the line AB. So to visualize that, we could have point A here be minus two and four, point B here could be three and one, and it's asking us the length of the line. So we need to know the distances x2 minus x1. So 3 minus minus 2, that would be 5. y2 minus y1, the distance in them is 3. So our distance is simply going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 5 squared. That's the square root of 9 plus 25, which is the square root of 34. And we can just leave that as a square root of 34 as a third in its simplest form. QR has these vertices, show that as isosceles. So we can visualize P, say, Q, and R. And of course, this is not drawn accurately at all. I'm not even checked to see if the relative relationships of where the points would be is correct. It's just to give me an idea. But Essentially, if two of these sides are the same, any two of the sides, it is an isosceles triangle. So I just need to check my distances. So if I try the distance from P to Q, well, that's the square root of 5 minus 2 squared is 3 squared. 9 minus 3 squared is 6 squared. That's the square root of 45. Now we could do the distance from P to R. So we've got 8 minus 5 is 3 squared, and we've got 3 minus 9 is minus 6 squared. That is 36 plus 9, the square root of 45. And just a quick check on the last one, the distance from R to Q. 8 minus 2 is 6 squared, but 3 minus 3 is 0 squared. That's the square root of 36, which is 6. I've not even checked if I can simplify the surge to 45. Let me just double check that. 9 times 5 is 3 root 5. And that is also then 3 root 5 if you are simplifying them. But the key point is since the distance from P to Q equals the distance from P to R, triangle P, Q, R is isosceles. H, R, and C are vertices of a triangle, show that it is right angled and name a right angle. So again, I'm going to draw a non-accurate sketch, but we've got H, R, and say C. And we want to show that one of these angles is right angled. So let's get started with our distances. So the distance from H to R, we've got 7 take away 3, 4 squared plus 
minus 7 take away 5, minus 12 squared. 4 squared is 16, 12 squared is 144, so that's 160. 160 is 16 times 10, so we get 4 root 10. Okay, let's do the distance from H to C. So that's minus 15 take away 3, which is minus 18 squared. Minus 1 take away 5 is minus 6 squared. That's the square root of 360. That's 36 times 10, so that's 6 root 10. And our last distance, we've done h to r, h to c, so we need to do r to c. We've got minus 15 take away 7. That's minus 22 squared plus 6 squared. That's 520. So right angle triangle is by Pythagoras. Let's check the two short sides squared and add them together. So let's go let's look at our non-simplified ones because they're easier to square instead of trying to square these. So our left hand side, we've got root 160 squared plus root 360 squared, or in other words, 160 plus 360, which equals 520. And our right hand side, we have got root. 520 squared, which is 520. So since a squared plus b squared equals c squared by Pythagoras, we have a right angle triangle. Okay, now where's the right angle triangle? Well, we can now draw our picture. We know that r to c is the longest side. So if I just draw, that's r. And that's C, that's my longest side. So H is here. So angle R, H, C is 90 degrees. Or C, H, R. It's been quite a maths today. We've done a review of the distance formula and using it in some applications to find out the lengths of lines given the coordinates of two points. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.